Okay, so we're going to work through finding the integral of a to the power of x. So a to the x being the most basic of exponential functions, a being a positive real number. Now we already know, or well we should know what the integral of e to the x is. It's just equal to itself, e to the x. So in order to carry out this integral, we need to transform this integrand here from a to the x to e to the something. So, so with some trickery by log laws, I can write a to the x as being equal to e to the natural log of a to the power of x. So these will cancel out to give me back my a to the x, but I'm going to keep it like this in this instance because I can move this x down to the front so we get e to the x by the natural log of a. Alright, so the integral of a to the power of x with respect to x is now equal to the integral of e to the power of x by the natural log of a with respect to x. So now I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to let u equals x by the log of a. And if we differentiate this, we get du dx is equal to log of a, log of a being a constant. And if I swap the differentials around, I get x equals log of a by dx. And log of a can come down. So du on log of a is equal to dx. So now I can complete my substitution. So the integral becomes the integral of e to the u, u being x log a, and dx is equal to du on the log of a. So the log of a, or 1 on the log of a, is simply a constant that can come out the front, and that's multiplied by the integral of e to the u with respect to u, which just equals e to the u, multiplied by the 1 on log of a at the front. And then all that's left to do is to back substitute u for x by the log of a. So it equals 1 on log of a by e to the x by log of a, which we said from up here was equal to a to the x. So it equals 1 on log a, copy that, by a to the x. So to complete, I say the integral of a to the power of x dx is equal to a to the power of x on the natural log of a plus a integration constant c. Okay, never forget the integration constant if it is an indefinite integral. So you can add this now to your table of integrals for future reference. Okay, and that'll do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please use the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. Until next time, best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.